Hey, Lanky Cyclist here. Today we are going to have a fat tire showdown. Uh, so I bought some brand new uh, Surly Edna tires. These are 4.3 inch uh, fat tires, uh, and we are gonna put them up against the Surly Nates uh, that are 3.8 inches uh, that come stock with, uh, with my Surly Wednesday. So we have a five-ish mile loop that we're gonna do uh, that is uh, part crushed limestone, uh, part steep gravel climb, uh, some paved road, uh, and then sort of the final bit is a downhill sort of gravelly uh, descent. Run both of these tires, see which ones roll faster. We're gonna time the whole segment. So I need to thank Tommy at Elevation Every Weekend, his YouTube channel. Uh, he left a comment uh, suggesting that I try these Surly Ednas. Uh, so we're gonna see how those, how those do today. This is pseudoscience. Uh, this would be most effectively done with a power meter. I don't own a power meter. So I do have my heart rate strap on, uh, but we're gonna ride, try to ride the tempo, try to keep a somewhat similar pace. Let's uh, take, take out the Ednas first and uh, see how it goes. All right, so starting the loop here. We'll finish on this bridge. All right, so we got this kind of crushed limestone towpath here to start. And uh, yeah, just kind of try to manage the heart rate best, best that I can. So it's not, not an all out effort here. It's just more of a good tempo pace here. I didn't think running tubeless on a day where I'm trying to do swap out tires would be a good idea. So we're just running tubes, uh, and I'm running 10 PSI right now in the Surly Ednas, and I think I'm just gonna do the same for the Nates. And I did not anticipate these guys out here are working today. So I messed up my test. Of course, we got a guy riding right here, right at this moment. Guess he's gonna pace me up this thing here. Get a draft. Passing behind you. What we're on right now, this kind of rocky, loose rock. Not a big climb, but definitely steep. My fitness sucks right now. That was kind of a nice, easy pace. But I felt like I could still somewhat maintain a conversation up that, so. It doesn't really matter too much on this first loop. Just gonna try to match the heart rate the second time through. Back off road, starting here. Hopefully there's not uh, too much people here. So I'm gonna not exert too much effort on this. It's gonna let gravity do a lot of the work. All right, steep grade area. So I'm not gonna do any pedaling here, just braking. All right, so that's the loop. We're all done. I'm just gonna e easy ride it back to the car, swap on the Nates, and we're gonna do it all over again. All right, coming up on the start of loop two, this time with the silly Nates on. Going a little too fast, I think. All right. Made it up. Maybe. No construction traffic that time, but I kind of tried to pace myself. I think I went a little too slow at the bottom, actually. Doing all right on heart rate. Might have been slightly higher that time around. 
All right, under the page segment here. A little bit of a drop, and uh, it starts climbing up. So I really don't know how these results are gonna pan out. Not really noticing too much of a difference. All right, there we go. Watch this washed out bit that's coming up here that I don't get fucked. Uh oh well, I'm definitely gonna be faster on these nades. Don't have those distractions of those people. And I just feel a little bit more agile here. All right, that's the loop. A beautiful shot here of Cuyahoga River. Okay, so uh, back home, had a chance to look at the data. This is what I found. So uh, on segment number one, uh, which was a flat towpath, said it was a 1.73 mile uh, segment that was flat with a, kind of a slight downhill. Like, uh, so that was just under three kilometers. Uh, and with the Edna, uh, I did that segment in six minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, so average speed of 15 miles an hour or 24 kph and my heart rate was 138. So I was trying to kind of just maintain like a decently moderate pace, not push too hard on the Nates the uh, second time through. And my time was 710. So uh, 14 seconds slower, uh, an average speed of 14 and a half miles an hour or 23.3 kph. And my heart rate was 140, which was slightly higher, but um, so definitely slower there, which I think I didn't really have too many expectations going into this, but I think that was one of my big expectations was that those Ednas were gonna roll faster and they did roll uh, considerably faster on that kind of flat towpath segment. The effort level was, and the heart rate was pretty similar between the two. On seg segment number one, the flat towpath, I would give that to the Edna. Uh, segment number two, the gravel climb. So um, I felt faster on the Ednas, like I felt like that was climbing better and the results kind of bore that out. Um, so I, so it was a quarter of a mile climb or just about 0.4 uh, kilometers, uh, 122 feet. So not the most elevation, but it's still like, I think the average gradient is about nine and a half percent. So it's a decently steep little climb. Uh, on the Ednas, which I did first, I did that in two minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, so just over five miles an hour, again, just trying to keep an easy pace, trying to control like what, how I was doing this. Plus I couldn't really go that much faster at the beginning of it uh, because there was a bulldozer in my way. Um, had a heart rate of 157. Um, second time that I did that, I did that on the Nates. I was four seconds slower. So I did that at 254 uh, and my heart rate was slightly higher that second time through. Still, it was four seconds slower um, I feel like I did a pretty good job of managing the effort on that one. That's a climb that I do pretty, pretty frequently. Um, and so, yeah, the Edna did climb a little bit better, which based on feel, I felt like it was climbing a little bit better. So that kind of made, made sense to me. The gravel climb was very close, um, but it also, it, it is a very short segment. Um, but I think over a longer segment, I think the Edna, I don't know what it was. Um, you know, you would think maybe that the, the Nates, which are a little bit lighter, um, would, would be faster. But again, I think that a that little bit closer tire tread, um, I don't know, maybe just kind of helped reduce the rolling resistance a little bit. I'm not sure, but I definitely felt better on the Ednas going up that climb well. So I think I would give the gravel climb to the Edna. Segment number three was a paved road. Um, and it's a gradual uphill for the first two thirds of it. And then the last third is a gradual downhill. Um, so I did that on the Edna in four minutes and 33 seconds or 12.2 miles an hour. Uh, and in KPH, that's 19.6. Uh, my heart rate was 148 beats per minute. Uh, on the Nates, uh, I was a little bit faster. So I did, did that in 426, uh, which is what's that seven seconds faster. Um, but my heart rate was also four beats a minute higher. I, I know the Nate was faster on that paved segment. I wasn't, I definitely wasn't paying very close attention to the heart rate monitor on that. So the second time through, I don't think I had a good sense of where I should have been keeping myself. That said, 
Um, I, you know, it, it was seven seconds. I think, I don't think there was really too much of a difference between the two. Segment three, that paved road, I would say it was a wash. Um, the last segment, segment number four, was a gravel descent. This was about three quarters of a mile or a little over one kilometer. Um, it was about a 200 foot drop. Uh, this was another test that was a little bit skewed during sort of the steepest drop. Uh, there was a, a couple that was coming up who, I mean, everybody today was great trail users. I mean, it's a beautiful day out here. So I knew there'd be people out there. They didn't really get in my way too much, but I definitely kind of slowed up a little bit on the steepest bit. I did that segment in two minutes and 38 seconds, or just over 16 miles an hour, 26 kph. Heart rate was 133. Uh, on the Surly Nates, which I did the second time through, I was two minutes and 29 seconds. Uh, so, you know, a full nine seconds faster, which is a pretty significant amount on, on a downhill. 17.2 miles an hour, full mile per hour faster, um, or t almost 28 kph. Uh, heart rate was 135, so very similar to when I did the Edna. Um, so I think on segment four, the gravel descent, uh, the Surly Nates were definitely the clear winner. I think an in another interesting test would be to compare the Ednas and the Nates out on a single track mountain bike trail, uh, because my sense is that the Nates would probably just destroy the Edna. Overall, the full course, uh, which is about 4.8 miles um, or 7.7 kilometers, 257 feet of elevation. I rode it the first time through on the Edna in 23 minutes and four seconds, an average speed of 12 and a half miles an hour or just over 20 uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, and my average heart rate was 145. Uh, the second time through on the Surly Nates, uh, I did that uh, whole course eight seconds faster at 22 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, but my heart rate was also three beats per minute higher. Uh, and I don't know if that was just a little bit from fatigue. Um, so at the end of the day, um, the full course, I feel like was pretty much kind of a wash. I think, you know, the Surly Nates were definitely faster on that downhill. You know, the Ednas were definitely faster on the flat. Which tire would I recommend, the Nate or the Edna? Um, so I think it probably depends on sort of where you're gonna be riding, what type of riding you're gonna be doing. If you're gonna be doing a lot of single track mountain bike trails, I think the Surly Nate is probably definitely the way to go. So when I was riding the fat bike this summer, that's mostly what I was doing was single, single track mountain biking. And you know, I, I didn't have any problems with the Nate. And I think this test uh, on not even a full single track showed that the Nate was definitely a lot more capable on that sort of terrain. I think, I think the aggressive tread pattern made a big difference. Um, and I think they were a little bit faster accelerating. Uh, if you're gonna be doing more uh, bike touring, bike packing, you know, just longer, flatter segments, stuff where it's not as, as technical or maybe where there's gonna be a decent amount of climbing, uh, I think the Ednas are probably the way to go. I don't think there's, I think the Nates will do you fine, uh, but it seemed like the Ednas were slightly better climbers um, they definitely were faster and felt better on the long flat segments. Uh, in terms of overall, so let's say you're budget constrained and you need to pick just one tire between the Edna and the Nate, which way should you go? Um, you know, I think without riding these on snow, it's kind of hard to say. I would think that you're going to get a lot more flotation with the Edna. So if you wanted to pick just one tire for the full year, you know, summer mountain bike riding, trail riding um, and then doing snow in the winter, I think the Ednas would probably be the way to go, but I don't think the Nates would be bad either. So if you bought your Surly Wednesday, it comes with the Nates, should you upgrade? I, I don't know if there's a compelling reason, but I don't think you could go wrong with either tire. So if this video has been helpful, please hit like, subscribe to the channel and enjoy your ride.